Nature is always an inspiration, delicate, magical, like a horizon when the sea starts to be seen in negative and that great big ball of light appears behind it. I draw on this kind of inspiration to create a delicate object. It should be like a piece created by an artisan. I think that this kind of simplicity in personality can sometimes be found in the way one works and how the pieces come about. I always hoped that it would be something made with love and care. This negative space, the light it contains, and all its permutations are made possible by today's technology which allows us to minimize and hide the source of electricity and come up with a simple and very precise object. When we aim for that, all these elements harmoniously play off each other. We had to work on the proportions of the piece so they could work as a single unit or be combined with other pieces creating new images and sensations in the space. We also had to work on how to hide the wires and create a pleasant, soft, warm light without seeing where it was coming from and without there being an excess of visual light from the reflector. Seeing your product evolving from the first sketch to actually holding the finished piece in your hands is a very interesting creative process, very bonding. It's a relationship with the piece during the whole process, from its birth to when the final object arrives, and you say, there you are. I believe it's then when function and form merge to create a new light that you get that sense of pride from seeing the finished product. <laughs>